Thanks for joining me today as I take you on a tour of one of the best neighborhoods on the west side of Vancouver, Salmon Creek. Hi, I'm Susie from Susie Sells Vancouver, and today I'm gonna to walk you through top four, maybe five questions that I get asked when someone's relocating to Vancouver, Washington. And today, we're gonna to answer those questions as we take a tour through one of the best neighborhoods on the west side, Salmon Creek. So what's so great about Salmon Creek? Well, let's talk about its location first. Six miles north of downtown Vancouver, on the north end of town where the junction of I-5 and I-205 connect, we have access, easy access to both I-5 heading into downtown Vancouver or downtown Portland. And you have access to I-205, which is, makes it just a short 20, 25 minute drive to the airport. You have access to East County Vancouver, as well as the east side of Portland. Located right next to the city of Ridgefield that we talked about last week, uh, the fairgrounds, Clark County Fairgrounds, separates Ridgefield and Salmon Creek on the north. And then to the south is another neighborhood we're gonna talk about, which is Philida, and we'll show that video in the next week or so. But for today, we're gonna talk about the six square mile area of Salmon Creek. One of the questions I get asked all the time is, what about the schools? I have kids, what's it look like? And so let's start by talking about the main, the main high school in, that serves Salmon Creek. 1,900 students in enrollment, it's large. 15% uh, of the student body actually attends one of Vancouver Public Schools magnet programs for science, technology, and math. You'll notice in, this, in the Vancouver Public Schools, there are several options for magnet schools. I'm gonna put the link to the public schools down below. There's also some, some report cards that you can download if that's important to you as well. So Skyview High School sits on a campus with both a middle school, elementary school, and then the high school. Salmon Creek is also home to the Vancouver Extension of Washington State University. If you just drive around the campus, you won't see it. You actually have to enter in specifically with the purpose of going into the Washington State campus. There are biking trails, hiking trails. You have fantastic views of Mount St. Helens and Mount Hood, uh, classic brick building university campus buildings. Um, and I think it's a fantastic place if you want to attend university and stay local. On the east side of the property, uh, we just talked about magnet schools and the options in Vancouver Public Schools is one of those magnet schools, the brand new home of iTech Prep, where students enroll via lottery in middle school and then learn technology at, through education. So what's there to do here in Salmon Creek? I think that's a great question. The primary feature for outdoor activity is the Salmon Creek. We have a nine hole par three golf course tucked into one of the neighborhoods that overlooks the Salmon Creek. The Salmon Creek Trail, which has entrances on both the east side and the west, is home to a 6.2 mile walking trail, 3.1 mile each way. You either access it through street parking on the west side, or you drive through either Klein Line, which is a local pond. In the summer, you can swim. In the other seasons, you can fish. Um, or through VGSA, which has plenty of parking. VGSA are the is the Vancouver Girls Softball Association. And you just hike, walk, bike, trail, right along, right along the Salmon Creek, right along the Cre Salmon Creek, right along Salmon Creek through the softball fields until you get to the, through the trail. My mom's dog, Shin, actually likes to take his daily walks there. And although there is a leash law in Vancouver, sometimes, he gets off his leash and takes a little swim. Salmon Creek follows the housing trends along with Clark County. Clark County currently has a two month supply of inventory and that is the same in Salmon Creek. So what kind of homes do you find here? Well, there are some homes on acreage, but most of the homes in Salmon Creek will be single family homes in suburban neighborhoods. We're seeing some new build. It's not the primary area of new build. Primary new construction on the west side is seen up in Ridgefield but there are definitely some infill lots uh, where new construction is happening. So I think it's important to consider that if Salmon Creek is the neighborhood for you, is to be extremely prepared when looking for homes in the area. And if you need help with that, click the link below. It'll take you to my contact information and I'm happy to share any information on knowledgeable mortgage uh, brokers, uh, friends in the business, and people that can help if you're interested in looking for homes let me know, would love, to, would love to get connected with you on that as well. Average home price in the area, $435,000. Amenities, infrastructure. What's here in Salmon Creek? Well, we sure do love our coffee shops here. We have Pete's, we have 
We have Blackrock, we have Starbucks, we have the Dutch, and there are a couple of small, small coffee shops as well. Plenty of food options. My favorite happens to be a Thai restaurant down the road called I Am Thai. There's some Mexican food next to the gas station, which sounds really odd, but the tacos are fantastic. So medical facilities are prevalent. We have, uh, it is home to Legacy Hospital, Legacy Clinic, uh, all the doctors that you would want to see, um, and Vancouver Clinic as well. Thank you for spending some time with me today. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, click the link below. If there's any feedback, any questions that you have, Let's get connected. Thank you so much and I look forward to seeing you soon.